Hi guys, so today we're talking about personal guarantees. Um, when you're taking a property on, if you're a new business, you haven't got any trading history, um, the landlord's going to want some security. Okay, He's going to either want a rent deposit and or a personal guarantee. These days they kind of tend to want both. So just think about that. What do I mean by personal guarantee? It means that you personally will guarantee the lease in your personal name. You'd either take the lease in your name, your name is going to be written on the lease. Or you might have a company, limited company, set up um, ideally to hold the business in and hold the lease in. But you will also have a separate guarantee, a guarantor, which is going to be you and your personal name or a partner or whoever it's going to be. Or you could potentially have a bank guarantee, that kind of thing. Um, but it does mean, does mean that you're basically in the background guaranteeing that lease if the company itself can't afford to pay it for whatever reason. Uh, you can also have things like cross-company guarantee. Uh, which is where you've got a, maybe you've got another successful business alongside it that isn't anything to do with that business that you're running, but because that is a strong business, you can maybe use that as security as to guarantee the lease of the new co effectively. So there's lots of different ways that you can mitigate around having to give necessarily a, a personal guarantee, we can give a business guarantee, bank guarantee, all that kind of stuff. Um, but think about exposure, be prepared for it, um, and good luck.